Well, the bubble may have burst for the Bitcoin. At the very least, the cyber currency has certainly had a rough few days. The price of Bitcoins dropped more than 75% from its peak of more than $250 just a few days ago. A series of trading halts and worries over recent cyber attacks had investors literally dumping out of the virtual currency. Bitcoin was founded four years ago by a team of programmers who to this day remain anonymous. It was designed to allow worldwide payments with extremely low processing costs, but with no government or central bank to back it up, the Bitcoin has seen wild movements in its valuation. Joining me now from New York to discuss the recent troubles for the Bitcoin and whether its cyber existence has any chance at a real world future is Bert Flickinger. He's managing director at retail consulting firm Strategic Resource Group. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. Now, Bitcoin owners, they're certainly spooked. How safe is this currency from your viewpoint? Uh, Mike, it's not safe now. It's almost like a Weimar Republic uh, currency of the uh, 20s and 30s when there was massive inflation in, in Germany. It appears that there's uh, either market speculation or, or some type of movement where uh, it's traded from any anywhere from about uh, $20 to a $250 valuation. And as you referenced, it's plunged precipitously in the last few days. So compared to gold's drop of 4% uh, today, uh, the Bitcoins have dropped over 44% in, in a day, and uh, that, that's simply not safe, even if there's only a 1% transaction fee. Bert, what effect do these trading halts have on the future of this currency? I, ultimately, it may be viable, Mike, uh, but as you referenced, there's, there's no government control. Uh, there's no basket of currencies. There's no gold. There's no commodities. There's no asset base. Uh, behind behind the currency. So if someone's making a, a small transaction that one doesn't doesn't want tracked uh, for distilled spirits or tobacco or something like that, uh, the value could drop dramatically and you don't take too much of a hit. Uh, but if someone's going to buy a Volvo made by uh, Geely and is uh, plans plans to uh, pay a thousand uh, bitcoins uh, this hour, uh, those thousand uh, bitcoins uh, may lose 20% of their value, or at least 10% of their value, in in an hour, and uh, when the transaction is completed. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Um, who's using bitcoins? Because I know a lot of people watching this are probably scratching their heads, saying, "I don't even really know that much about this stuff." <laughs> uh, bitcoins, Mike, are really people off, quote unquote, off the grid. People who want private transactions. There's no paper trail. Uh, it, it, it can be used uh, for legitimate purposes. It can be used for non-legitimate purposes. Uh, it can be people uh, who, as you referenced uh, in France, where uh, people uh, want to want to hide their money. Uh, they used to be able to put them in bitcoins. Maybe they can be put in bitcoins uh, when the wild swings and speculation stop. And there may be uh, some stability in a statistical control range in terms of valuation. You know, you were just talking about, I, I want to purchase a car and suddenly the value just drops. Uh, so one would say to themselves, so what are the advantages of uh, Bitcoins? Uh, uh, the advantages is it's, it's instant cash on the internet. So the seller uh, gets cash right away uh, rather than waiting for PayPal or uh, credit-based system to pay, say, say within a... 30-day period, uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the seller uh, can tr transmit cash, and if the seller wants to avoid sales tax or doesn't want to know what he or uh, she is uh, buying uh, by a government agency or a family member or anybody else, uh, Bitcoin is, is, is uh, private, as, as you said, uh, the creators of Bitcoin uh, who will not disclose who they are. <laughs> Well, you know, Bert, the interesting thing is, you know, when it comes to banks, you can have a run on banks. But I guess with the Bitcoins, it's not necessarily a run on banks, but it's, it's hackers. Uh, how safe is this stuff? Uh, the, the, the hackers, as is, is, is you just referenced, Mike, is a big problem uh, in, in terms of uh, in, Insta uh, wallet. 35,000 uh, Bitcoins uh, were, were hacked into. At the, t at the time, it was a loss of about $4.6 million. So if hackers can get in, into Instant Wallet, uh, that's a concern going forward for uh, people who uh, own Bitcoins as, uh, for payment purposes or, or for people who are receiving payments in Bitcoins. Bert Flickinger joining us from New York. Thanks so much. Have yourself a great weekend. Thanks Thank you, for Mike. all your insights. Uh, making